Well, hey artists, welcome back to the art room. Okay, so what are some fun things that we can do with our cool art papers we've made? Uh, let's do a quick recap. So we learned that we can make homemade watercolors and we can make beautiful just watercolor paintings. These were all done with the homemade watercolor. This is actually some of that homemade watercolor on um, black construction paper. Um, it, it does get a little bit chalky when it dries. You can just take a kitchen towel and rub that off. We can do the bubble paper. Right, we can do those cool salt papers. Do I have a salt paper in here? Oh, I've got salt paper over here. Right, those cool salt papers, right? We sprinkle the salt in it and get the little tie-dye effect. Bubble papers, right? As well as printing and shaving cream or whipped cream to create this kind of cool marbled tie-dye effect. Okay, so we've got all these gorgeous art papers. What can we do with them? Well, they're just works of art in themselves, of course, but we can also do a tape picture. So what you're gonna wanna do is select one of the art papers you wanna work on. Here's one of the homemade watercolor papers um, I did. It's a little bit dusty. You can just dust it off with your hands or um, a, a towel, okay? But the dustiness is a little bit of the nature of the homemade paint, right? Because we were using baking soda and cornstarch as our binder um, to, to hold and suspend the pigment there, okay? Um, so we've got that, and then you're gonna need some tape. Now, I like to use the blue painter's tape for this. However, if you don't have blue painter's tape, um, you know, obviously a lot of stores are closed right now, um, you can still do this with scotch tape or masking tape. Here's what you need to do though. If you're using scotch tape or masking tape for this, you need to take your piece of tape and before you stick it to your paper, you need to stick it to your sleeve or something first. Okay, it, it needs to be a little bit less sticky. Do you know what I mean? So get some good fuzz on there before you stick it down to your paper because we will need this, this tape to come off. So we can do that. Okay, we can do the scotch tape, if I can find the end of my scotch tape. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Come on, cooperate. <laughs> it's always tough to find the ends of these tapes, and I like have no nails. Oh, there we go. I think I got a corner of it up. Nope, I didn't. Okay, well, you get what I'm saying. Scotch tape, same thing. Stick it down to your arm first, or you can use, if you've got it, you know, maybe mom or dad had a painting project they did a little while ago. Um, blue painter's tape works great. I've got this little skinny stuff because I'm working on little um, cards here, okay? But, um, you know, you can use the big wide stuff too, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your tape to create patterns, lines, drawing, whatever you wanna make. You can create different shapes, okay? And then once we've got our pattern all marked out, well, I'm gonna set this aside we can start doing some artwork inside of it. So what I've done, I've created my little pattern using my tape, and then I've used just some basic art supplies you probably have around the house. Ballpoint pen to draw in these cool inked pattern, okay? Regular old colored pencil, like so, these guys here. Regular old colored pencil, I've just done some of the coloring within these areas. Okay, as well as some crayon. So regular old, old fashioned crayons, okay? Broken cans work great, right? And I've just done some coloring, some different shading in the different spaces. I've done some patterns. I've done some little drawings, okay? And then what you do once you're all done is you'll slowly peel back your tape edges which will leave behind your border of what you've done. And then we can go back in and do even more decoration inside those, whoops. You gotta kinda peel slowly. If the paper starts to rip, that's okay. You just gotta kinda peel it back slowly. It even happens with the painter's tape. Okay. We start to peel back and reveal those different bases we created. Actually, one of the ways I find it works best to create cool designs is when you do your pattern and your coloring all the way to the edge and it leaves these really beautiful shapes behind. Oops. 
those little tears are okay. They're all kind of part of the artwork. If it starts to tear in one direction, try peeling back in the other. And just go slow, right? Try not to pull up. You kind of like pull back as it goes. So there are some really cool tape pictures. We use the tape to create these different interesting patterns. And now I can even go back through and do like more pen work if I want to start like connecting some of my imagery together. Use some of these dots start to come down into these little border spaces. Who knows? Okay, so we can do more artwork over top of it. Okay, so there's tape pictures one idea that we can do with our um, with our papers okay um, join me in our next video for some other interesting crafts that we can do with these art papers that we've made all right take care look forward to see you again in the art room